Hello everybody, welcome back to the Dark Knight Rider Games channel. Today, of course, is Atari Wednesdays. This is our episode, uh, what are we, eight? Episode eight so far, right, for Atari. Um, so today we're going to have just a little blog. We're going to discuss about the Atari VCS and talk about this great concept of mine. And this concept is a great idea. It's a marketing idea, and I think it will do wonders if Atari would be interested in doing this. Um, but, you know, I have a marketing background. I do. I've been in business and sales, so I, I know how this works. You know, the marketing world works and stuff. So, the Atari VCS um, is, for just the system and one controller, it's like $299. And then your bundle with two controllers is, of course, $399. Given that, that's pretty pricey for some people, you know. But in my opinion, I mean, if that's what you want to do, that's what you want to do. But this is my concept. So here's what I'm going to say in a marketing standpoint. Is, you know, lately GameStop's been doing a sale, which by all means, if you see GameStop selling a bundle for the Atari VCS for 100 bucks, grab that. Just just go with it. Get it, buy it for 100 bucks. That's a great sale. In my opinion, that is a great deal for that system. Um, but here's where I come up with a great concept here. So marketing background, you know, I'm in sales. I do this stuff. So here's where we go. For, a con for the Atari video computer system uh, pretty much you sell the system and a controller for 150 bucks why would I do that well here's the reason I would want to get as many of these systems into as many homes as possible because back in the day, that's what their whole plan was, to get as many of these systems into each home, you know, uh, for families. And that was one of the concepts, which I think a lot of places have went away from. I don't think they're focused on that. They're just focused on, okay, let's try to get as many sales as we can. But I think it would be great to get as many of these Atari VCSs in as many homes. So... How do you do that? You cut the price. You sell it for an affordable price. Because let's look at what the Atari VCS is. It's the future. Think about it. It's a system. You can't put physical media in it, of course. It's all digital, which is the direction everyone's going. So it's future-proof. It is perfect, it's small, it's compact, it's light. You can uh, stream all your favorite uh, streaming services, Netflix, you know, Apple TV Plus, Disney Plus, you name it. You can do cloud gaming streaming, which is becoming a popular thing. Uh, it has a lot of possibilities for it. It's a great concept. Sell it at 150 bucks for the system and one controller. For a bundle with two controllers with the system, 200 bucks. Great concept. Moving on. Currently, right now, Atari comes out with uh, the Atari uh, Recharge series, which is great. They have some really great games, like the upcoming. Uh, Gravatar Recharge, which looks amazing. I've seen the uh, uh, recent Let's Play video that Atari did. Some of their guys uh, that did the Combinera was awesome. The concept of this is great. Um, I know they're working on some new IPs, kind of like with like Combinera was. It was something new, and that's great. They're going to put it on different platforms. And the reason why you put it on different platforms is because it helps with the marketing for the system, for the brand itself too. Because if you market and put these games on other platforms, it's going to draw attention to the gaming community. It's going to draw attention to 
uh, content creators. It's going to draw attention to people that want to purchase this game and try it out and gets them brought back to the brand and thinking, okay, great game, great brand, great concept. I'm liking what they're co coming out with, right? From there, you go to this other part that I think will be great. Getting with some past publishers that Atari was with in the past, like Activision. And, you know, get with these companies and talk about licensing agreements and possibly bringing over some new Pitfall games from Activision, bring some Pac-Man over, bring some new Pitfall, new Pac-Man games. That's a great concept right there. I think it would do wonders for Atari, especially since Atari wants to make their comeback. They want to do well. It has a lot of uh, great opportunity in this. So from there, we have, of course, our affordable system. It's 150 bucks, bundles to 100. You have the games, of course, established that are being you know, put on multiple platforms, which is great because it brings in more uh, consumers to the product, to the brand. Get with some other publishers, can make some new games, um, even publishers from the past like Activision. And that's a great concept. And then, once you have established all these things, then you bring exclusive content to the Atari VCS system. Or maybe the Atari VCS 2 or whatever that comes out after this because we know they'll probably end up being another system down the road. But, therefore, you have exclusive content. People already know the company better now. They know how you do make games and know how good your games are how you're doing marketing wise then you can start putting exclusive content i think that will be the way for atari to go um, moving forward that's my concept of an idea for atari um other than that you know i don't really have much else to talk about but you know, I'm looking forward to seeing what the future holds for Atari. I know they're doing well and, you know, they're coming out with some great stuff. So can't wait to see what else they've got planned um, for the rest of this year. But um, yeah, that is a concept that I think would work wonders for them. Um, like I said, I know sales. I've been in the marketing business. I've really understand the concept of how to really sell a product that I think can have a really good um, future in the gaming industry. And having the grandfather of them all back in the gaming industry will probably do wonders. And by doing these certain steps, I think it will really help um, them out. And I just wanted to make this video to talk about it. So with that being said, thank you for watching. Uh, also, don't forget to watch every Wednesday. We have a new Atari Wednesday episode. And uh, don't forget to smash that like button. And also comment. Put your comments down below. Let me know what you think. And um, also, for new people that's just coming here to the channel that haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. It means a lot. We're a small channel. We're trying to build up our community here and uh, put out some amazing content and hopefully encourage people to check out some awesome games from Atari and maybe pick up the system. Maybe one day when they have another sale or something from GameStop or if they actually, you know, drop the price, like the concept I'm bringing up, pick up one. It's, it's a great system. I think it has a lot of potential um, future-wise. It's it's looking good. So with that being said, thanks for watching. And I'll see you all in the next one. Take care.